on the subscribe button and press on the bell icon to watch my all new videos. All right, my dear. This is Ujjal Kumar Sen, and you're watching Ujjal Kumar Sen YouTube channel. So today you are going to learn about the stability of a submerged body, right? Submerged body. So remember this term because in the last tutorial what we have studied, we have studied about floating body. So today we will learn about submerged body and stability. So let's get started. Summer's body, right? So, so you know, uh, if there is any body, suppose that we are having a body like this. In a body, we are having two points in general. Those are most important points, right? So one is what G, that is what center of gravity. Another one is what beta B. What is B basically? You know that buoyancy or center of buoyancy. You can say that B is what buoyancy, uh, center of buoyancy here. We need to consider this. So what is basically buoyancy? There is a force acting. That force is acting word of thrust. That of thrust is known as word force and that is what buoyant force, right? So that of thrust will act definitely what upper side and center of gravity and definitely because of gravity there will be force acting downward, right? Mg that is what W. W is equal to what? Mg. Get the point because this is really important to understand. So now we have to consider three conditions as we have considered in case of stability of a floating body so here are those conditions first condition stable equilibrium stable equilibrium what's that what is the what is the meaning of first condition basically what is the, i'm saying why i'm saying this stable equilibrium right so in case of stable equilibrium we have to consider few cases between this word this is what buoyancy so let's say uh, there is a up thrust force is uh, acting that is what t f and it is here downward force that's because of gravity that is w is equal to mg now, in case of stable equilibrium, what condition is applying? Here, you need to consider. So, you need to just write down and understand when W is equal to TF. That means buoyant force of thrust is equal to what W, right? W means what? Weight. That means uh, the weight is acting because of acceleration due to gravity, right? Now, another condition there should be point B is above G when this condition is applicable then we can say that the body is stable equilibrium in case of submerged body right now next condition what unstable equilibrium unstable equilibrium equilibrium b r i yeah. equilibrium so what condition we have here when w is equal to t f and point b is below g right another condition you need to write here you need to understand here what is happening displacement will occur in clockwise direction in this case what is happening displacement will occur in clockwise direction so this is the case for what unstable equilibrium now we are having the last case that is what neutral equilibrium what's that neutral equilibrium so in this case what we have right now when w is equal to tf and g and b lie at the same point then we can say that it is in neutral equilibrium right neutral equilibrium i hope you can see right so till now we have said about what three points stable unstable and neutral let's do revision little bit stable 
W is equal to TF, point B lie above the point B is above G. Unstable W equal to TF, point B is below G. Is below G. And neutral when what is happening B and G lie at the same point and W is equal to what? TF. One important topic, one important, not topic, I must say that important sentence you must remember. In case of unstable equilibrium, you need to understand, you need to remember this case because this is really important for competitive examination, right? So, thanks for watching. Thank you very much and see you soon in my next video tutorial. Bye-bye.